Tonight, the owners of a Spicewood kennel under investigation have fired two employees. That's according to attorneys representing Lucky Dogs Pet Resort. The Burnett County Sheriff's Office started investigating after a pet finder group found a lost dog buried on the property. KXN's Brianna Hollis continues to follow this story for us. The community seems very connected and invested in this story. Definitely, they are. Yes, I am constantly getting text message updates from my friends. Dozens of former customers of Lucky Dogs Pet Resort emailed me after we first reported on the investigation last week. That's how we found Haley Gross and her dog Sterling. I was really sad, first of all, for the family involved with Indy and then you know, I was sad that my dog stayed there. Now, we did speak with another pet owner who says she's never had a problem with Lucky Dogs. The only reason she took her dogs out is because the facility is under investigation. The Burnett County Sheriff's Office says investigators are still going through statements and evidence. Once that's done, they'll go to the DA's office to discuss possible charges. The case opened when investigators say a golden retriever named Indy was found buried on the property days after the dog was reported missing from the facility. Austin Shell, the attorney representing the owners of Lucky Dogs, says the owners weren't there when this happened and they fired the employees who were. The attorney also provided the following statement on the owner's behalf. We have cooperated with law enforcement and animal control in every way. We have provided statements, documents and recordings so the people responsible for any death can be held responsible. But everybody in the neighborhood and the community out here, we definitely want answers. For Brianna the Hollis, KXN and News. And a Google search on Lucky Dogs' pet resort shows that the facility is closed, but the attorney representing the owners says it is still open and operating. If you're looking to board your pets in the near future, there are some steps you should take beforehand. According to Austin Pets Alive, the director of animal operations there, you should always get referrals from people you trust. Take a walkthrough and see where your dogs are going to be housed at the facility. You can check for water, cleanliness, and so on. It is a red flag if they do not let you walk through. You can also ask about overnight availability and monitoring. Is there someone on site overnight? Are there cameras to monitor the pets? You can check the veterinary policy. Is there an on-call vet? What do they do in case of an emergency? And lastly, ask about activity your pet is going to get, such as playtime with staff members, walks, etc.